Good day. We're here down in Blanchishire's Avocat with uh, Mr. Ronald Lopez, who is just going to go off onto the hunt. Sir, what, when you go for the hunt, what are you looking for? And uh, before we sit, have a look at his gear, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. Camouflage gear, the proper hunt, hunter's gear. Yeah, so, so what are you looking for on the hunt? What are you looking for? To be truthful, if you go any bush, you always go and prepare before, so you do some tracking. I'm a sentry man. I do sentry, I don't do dog hunt. So I will go and look for feeding, where you could choose the animal. So right now, this morning, I'm going to look for an agouti. Right, so later on, uh -huh. that same scarf a little further with the next feeding, you can catch maybe a deer or a lap. Right. But as the saying goes, you ain't put nothing in the forest. Whatever the forest offer, we accept it. So hunting is just not a thing that anyone, anybody feel like could just go in the bush. You have to prepare yourself. It's something that you you cut out like from young, get yourself right. involved in. Because it entails a lot of different things, understanding the, the danger, the respect in the forest. And the forest is a very kind thing. It's like water, unkind if you disrespect it. Mm -hmm. So if ever you want to go in the bush, you know, all the garments that you wear and all has to be different for the forest. All the screws you've seen here, it do ever wash with any detergent. You actually use bush and you soak them so you smell like bush. So, you could go in the forest and the slightest little scent of any chemical, domestic, right. an animal would not come to you. So, but hunting is a great thing. Anybody, I'll, I'll advise anybody, get into it. It's, it's great knowledge. Besides getting the animal and eating meat, the, sport, the, the, the forest, it speaks to you too. It's a language. It's an understanding. You would learn about nature. And that is where God lies. Can I just ask you? The, the actual hunting season, do, do you think it should be shortened or lengthened or is it okay as it is? Well, um, it's not just a matter of lengthening or shortening. What really humbugs the, the animal in the forest is the dog hunting. If they could limit dog hunting to certain areas or shorten that for a certain time, allow man to go in the bush and, and, and do his own tracking. So he wouldn't just kill any and everything. With dogs, you kill everything. That is what will damage the game. And it could very well get extinct by you know killing out all the female. Right. And the young ones as they as they born the female gone, you kill that, they suffocate and they die. Right. And then when a man have a area that he hunts, when he sees an open with dog, everything gets go back to the forest. So the mothers that have young ones that they get so scared they run. So they abandon. They are like children, they get abandoned in their homes, holes. Because the dogs are just... The dogs but will run. Dogs don't have no discretion on whether male, female. They, they train to kill everything. And then for the animals too, they lose. Sometimes they go and hunters, they hunt to sell. So they just forget that dog and bring out the next dog and they leave dogs suffering in the forest. They don't ever, you know, retrieve them. It has so many different dangers in hunting with dogs. But as man, if man could hunt on his own instinct, it is always better. You, you will. You can't shoot everything. You can never shoot everything by centering, but by dog you could destroy it. But not by shooting it, by traumatizing the animal, and they will die out. You won't get them meeting anymore. The males go on with the female. They may meet up somewhere, but that is a big problem. And yeah, you could shorten the um, the hunting period for the Christmas time. You know, instead of October, you hold you start in November, and by January you lock it off. That is enough. Okay. That is enough because as global changing taking place, so does animal breeding taking place. It's a common knowledge. Take no rocket scientists to understand. Everything is evolving, changing. So, so when you see no open, you see such a, such a young one still there. Mother still full. Ah, right. So that is the things that you know the authorities, if they, you know they. If this thief is ever shown to the relevant people who can change the legislation to make it right. And then, you know, you have to train people, have little seminars on how they should approach the bush, the forest. You just can't kill everything. People feel snakes should be killed. That's their habitat. 
they should be respectful where they are. Teach people about the snake. They kill out a set of snakes that they keep the generation of the forest alive. Well, I, I haven't been in Trinidad that long, but from what I've seen, I think people in Trinidad have a real phobia of snakes. People all over the world, because they've not been taught what is venomous and which is not. Even venomous snake, you shouldn't just kill it. You understand? It's like human. If you see a, a, a policeman with a gun, you're going to kill it. No, but I mean, when I say sometimes, I mean, the snake could be over there, not interfering with anyone, and they still kill it for the sake of killing it. Right, because that is how ignorant society is. Society just don't learn about things, and they, what they don't understand, they destroy. That's typical human being. So Even you, in the civilized world, a lot of people are the opportunists. You understand? They, they take things because they want to profit from it, rather than understand and, and, and learn from it. Same as your forest. People they, they keep them ignorant, so they profit from the inadequate understanding of the forest. Okay. You understand? The sales of, of meat and all these kind of things, I mean, say, it's ridiculous. So, so you offer a particularly an agouti today, but if you see anything else, you, you, uh, you, you're going to get that too? Or is there any other particular delicacy out there that you might want to get? Yes, it's so many. The, the, the forest gives the, the games that I hunt. is lap, tattoo, deer, wild hog. So if I was privy to any one of these while I go out, so be it, I'm lucky. Right. Any game will be all right. The Which forest. one's the sweetest? Which one's the sweetest meat well, you prefer? For me, yeah. the sweetest is the tattoo. Everybody have their choice. Right. But I just love the excitement of eating a tattoo, like a, a cascade where you could suck the shell and you'll get the flavor when you cook it. So, sir, I'm very privileged to be interviewed by you this yeah. morning. And if you allow me, I'll be on my way to see and put something on the table for you. And, and we'll um, interview you when you come back, see what you caught. Thank you. Best of luck. Without without, it's a, it's a great hunt still. Yeah, yeah. <laughs>